You want to know what is the first and most important step towards changing your life forever? Well, stay tuned and watch. This is Alexandra Villarruela Abrego and welcome back to Alexandra TV, where every Wednesday I share with you the best coaching strategies and techniques to create the life of your dreams and to become the greatest version of yourself. Now make sure, of course, you're subscribed to this channel because if you aren't, you're going to miss out on the new episodes that come out every week. And you also want to go on my website, alexandravillarruela.com and subscribe to my email list because if you do, I will be sending over your way a free four-part video training series that will teach you how to take your personal and professional life to the next level. You don't want to miss out on that. Changing your life, transforming your life, creating the life that you want, that you desire, however you want to call it, that's something that anyone and everyone can do. Over the past seven years, I've taught hundreds of thousands of people around the world how they can do that. You know what I do? I do it in three languages, in English, French, and Spanish. So I've taught people who only speak French, only who speak Spanish, who only speak in English. So whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, this can work for you. It's a very simple process. I'm sure you've already heard people say that if you want to change your life, you can change your habits. And I could sit here and tell you, you know, you want to change your life? Well, start changing your habits because your habits are the things that uh, create the results that you have in your life, which is true. I could sit here and say that and say, okay, I'll see you next week. This is it. If you want to change your life. But if we start digging deeper into, okay, so Habits, what creates habits? There's more to that. So let's take a look at that, all right? When it comes to your habits, what creates your habits is actually your beliefs. It's your belief system. It's the beliefs that you have deep down inside of you that at times you're not even aware of. Again, I could sit here and say, okay, well, change your beliefs and change your habits and then change your life and we're done. This is it. I'll see you next Wednesday. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to dig even deeper into, okay, so what creates actually your beliefs? You know, in personal development, we always teach that when it comes to creating new beliefs, you need to start, you know, using repetition, whether it be affirmations, whether it be uh, reciting a certain script, and that's how you create a, a new belief. And this is true to some extent, because there's actually something more powerful that will create new beliefs and therefore create new habits and therefore change your life. This thing is called the pain pleasure factor. Now, what does this mean? I, I want to give you an example. Let's say when you were a child, every time you would go to school, uh, kids would make fun of you. Every time you would go to school, they would make fun of you. So that situation would, of course, create pain inside of you. That pain created a belief that you were inadequate. Now, it's even worse if those kids at school were making fun of you because you were maybe a little chubby, maybe a little bit overweight. What would happen is that you would feel pain because of that situation that would trigger the pain. And then maybe you would go home and your grandmother would make you a batch of cookies because you were sad. So then you would start to eat. So that created a habit. Today you're an adult and what happens is that whenever someone criticizes you, well, that triggers pain. And then what's next is the habit, right? That, that, that belief of you being inadequate and you not being good enough basically triggers the habit, which is to go and eat. And then you have the results that you have in your life. When it comes to changing your life, the first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out what are the sources of pain and pleasure in your life and what do they trigger? What is the belief that they trigger? And then what habit do they trigger? And then what are the results that happen because of that? What's even more powerful is if you do the opposite. If you think about the life that you desire, then you think, okay, what would be the habits that someone who has this life would have on a daily basis? Then you think, okay, so what beliefs would trigger these habits? And then you think, what sources of pain and pleasure would trigger these beliefs? You kind of do the opposite, you know? And then you start creating these sources. I would recommend more of pleasure than of pain, of course, because you don't want to create too many sources of pain in your life. But you start creating these uh, factors of pain or pleasure. And like I said, you, you prefer doing pleasure, but you can also do pain. You know, if, if let's say you not working on your business uh, is going to create uh, the, the pain of, let's say, not making enough money and then not being good enough and then not being able to feed your family, that, that source of pain is a good type of pain that will create that belief of what if I end up homeless and that belief will maybe push you towards doing the habit that you're supposed to do in order to have the life that you want. So it can also be a good thing. But of 
course, you want to have more sources of pleasure. It's always better than sources of pain. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, if you want to learn more about what are the good beliefs to have, what are the good sources of pain and pleasure that you can create? What are the good habits that you should have in order to create the life that you want? I've created a program called Change Your Life in 30 Days. This program has existed since 2012. There has been hundreds, if not thousands of people around the world who have followed this program. And it's a 30 day program that teaches you every single day what you have to do in order to create the life that you want. If you want to have more information, you can go in the description down below this video, click on the link and you'll have uh, more details about change your life in 30 days, what it is. And if it's something that could uh, be beneficial for you and you creating the life that you want. So that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to share it with all of your friends. And in the comment section down below, I would love to hear from you. Let us know what are the habits that you want to create in your life. What are the positive habits? habits that you want to create in your life in order to have the life that you desire, the life that you deserve in reality. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.